Hello my friends, hello Photoshop lovers. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this takeover club flyer inside of Photoshop, right? In case I forget, if you've not gotten your flyer templates, click the link in the description of this video to get yours. And the Smart Designer Premium Asset is still very much available. So you can click the link in the description of this video to get yours so I can get your free 3D text, your templates, your backgrounds and free PNG images that I'll be using in this video. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that bell icon. And without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is click on file and click on new like this. And I'm just going to set um, my size here. So it's going to be club flyer like this. And it's going to be 5x5 five five resolution 300 inches and transparent. Everything stays the same. Click OK like this. And um, I'm going to start, of course, by creating a background color. So how best do you do that? Click on adjustment layer and click on solid color like this. All right. So I'm going to impute the color code. So let's do that together, right? So it's um, 00C25. Alright, so you can, I have my background set, so I'm just going over to the next thing I want to put. So I'll be adding the text, so I'm selecting my text to, and I'm going to type. So um, the first word I'm going to type, I don't type them together, is BMX. So um, I'm going to change the typeface or change the font as the case may be, but first I'm going to make this white. So that I have good contrast between the background and also the text. So the next thing I want to do here is change the text to this fonts that I used. Um, it's Levi brush. It's also included in the smart designer premium asset. All right. So um, duplicate this and I'm just going to double click on the thumbnail to activate the text editing tool. All right, uh, it's active now. Um, let me do that again. Okay, it's active now. So I'm just going to type night here. All right. So night, I guess. And um, quickly transform this Ctrl C, and um, I'm going to reduce this this way, and move it closer to the BMX, so it stays together like this. When you're done, click enter to release the transform. So I have BMX 90 like this. Select the two of them, hold down shift and um, Ctrl G to group them. So I'm going to name this layer text, as simple as that. You know the reason why I group my layers so that we don't have so many layers scattered around. And um, when you want to edit, you don't know where to start from. So it keeps our composition neat and um, easy to work with. So the next thing I want to do is go over to my resource file. Of course, the link to my resource file is in the description of this video where you can get 50% of this files that I'm using. The rest is part of the Smart Designer Premium Asset. So first and, for, um, first and foremost, I will bring this inside to make this bigger. And... Um, just increase the size so it covers the whole canvas like this okay so click enter when you're done i'm going to change the blend mode and of course make some adjustment to this image so let's start that all right so ctrl zero to zoom in well all right so what you want to do is change the blend mode to pin light First, I know it's not making any sense now, but hold up. Um, okay. Um, the next thing you want to do is reduce the opacity, right? So I'm going to impute 40 here, just the way I want it. And I'm going to click on adjustment layer. I'm going to click on hue and saturation. Of course, I don't want it to affect your image. So I'm going to right click and select create clipping mask on that particular image. Click on colorize to make things more fun and exciting. Drag this slide from this part of the world to this part of the world like this. Right? So, um, nice blend. 
you can see that I'm tilting towards the purple and bluish part, right? It's actually intentional. So, um, mask this and I'm just going to use my brush. Make sure you're selecting your soft round brush, please. I'm just going to conceal this area here. Just this area. Like this. Everything else stays the same. I'm not going to make any change. Um, stay directly on top of this layer. I'm going to bring in the next background, which is this one. Of course, drag and drop or you use the place embedded command. So what you want to do now is increase this, increase the size like this. Click enter. The next thing you want to do is change the blend mode to linear dodge art. Right. So um, again, I'm going to do the same steps that I performed on the first one. So here on saturation, clip it to the image and click on colorize. And I'm just going to go over to saturation, increase it and go to that side of the world. But this time I'm going to stay somewhere here and see that it's closely. There's no difference, right? I'm just doing the same thing I did to the first image. But only this one, I would like to select. Make sure you don't come and you start selecting this and you start doing select your brush, saffron brush, and you do things like this. You are supposed to be working on this image, not your hue and saturation layer. So click on this image, this one here, and click on the mask like this. So when you have your mask ready, you can use your brush now to conceal that part. Like this you can use your brush also to conceal this part too easy peasy you can see that you have like a shiny kind of effect right but we're getting somewhere so let's move on then the next thing you want to do is bring in the image now most of you would fall into this category of bringing the image inside like this but this is what you're going to get so delete this make sure you're on the top most layer before you bring in your image Right, so I'm going to drag and drop like this so that we don't have any complications. Right, so reduce the size like this. And um, then of course, I'm going to make this picture pop. But first and foremost, I'm going to just position this well and click enter when you're done. So what you want to do at this point is go over to filter with your image selected, please. Go over to filter and um, go over to where you have. Um, so for tint, I'm going to increase it. For temperature, increase it. Um, reduce the highlights. Increase the contrast. And uh, increase the texture like this. Not too much, but you know when your image that you're editing is making sense and you know when it's not making sense. Right, so... Um, you can follow my settings just to stay on the right track. So noise reduction, increase it to have that soft babyish kind of skin. All right. So um, click OK when you're done. Of course, this is the after. All right. So click on the mask and with your brush selected, you want to conceal these areas like this. You can see how intentional I am with doing this, right? I'm not doing too much. So I have this here. What I want to do next is... Go over to your um, Smart Designer Premium Asset. You can see I have mine here. This is it. The Graphics Bundle. Open it up and click on Premium PNG. Of course, you have hundreds of PNGs here that you can use for various projects, right? Of course, if you want to download these assets, make sure you click the link in the description of this video to get yours. This will save you quality time used to search for these things on the internet. You can just go to your PCs and just bring out something out of there to use ASAP. All right, so with this one, I'm just gonna bring this down. We do the size like this. Position this here, somewhere here, and click enter. Right? So what you want to do now is click on blend option and come and select color overlay. 
Now, this is the color code of the color we're using. All right. And um, everything stays the same here. I click OK. All right. Okay, so let's move on then. Go over to your text tool, your type tool, and um, I'm going to type something like this. So it's takeover, and I'm going to change the font to the one I actually used, not this Levi brush. All right, so it's um, monument extended, also included in the premium asset, all right? So you don't want to miss this opportunity to get yours before its price goes up. All right, so um, takeover stays here and um, reduce it just like this, right? So select the two of them while you move it upward like this. And there you have it. Okay, so um, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to go into my asset again. This time I'm going to select this particular image, right? So click and um, bring in tide. Um, you can see this nice um, grunge effect, right? So I'm just going to position this one here like this. And um, when I click create clipping mask, it is not going to work. You can see that it's not going to show anything. Right. So let me undo that. And um, what you should do is, sorry, that was a mistake. So what you should do is, let me position this here, place this here. Okay, so what you should do is select this image, right click on it and convert to smart object. So when you select this image now and you right click and create clipping mask, you can see that it has clipped it to that particular image because it's now recognized as the image now, right? So um, let's move on. Select this color, click OK. And what you want to do is I um, want to add some lighting effect here. Okay. So what you want to do is stay on the topmost layer. And um, let me bring in my text. I'm just going to position this text here. I, I had it typed out so that we don't take too much time. But the font stays the same. Still the same font. So what you want to do here is click all the texts like this, select it, Ctrl G to group them. And um, I'm just gonna name this text like this. Yeah. So name this text. And um, select this, all of this, Ctrl G to group them. You want to name this background. Okay. Cool. So I'm um, creating a new layer here and make sure this is your color using this one here click ok selecting your brush make sure your cap lock is off and come here and um, click here click here change the blend mode to screen All right so let's do screen now create another new layer and this time move to the brighter part of that particular image your brush selected you can make it smaller or you can make it big like this but for this part here i'm going to make my brush smaller click on the bracket beside the p key on your keyboard and um, of course this is what you have when you do things the right way so i can reduce this so it's not too much the effect is not too much and um easy peasy right So, convert this to smart objects like this. And with this done, go over to filter, go over to noise and click on add noise to give you this special effect. So while you're done, click OK like this. And um, what you want to do is... Oh, 
almost done we're almost done we're almost at that point what you want to do is click on vibrance add some vibrance to this right and um, increase the saturation not too much make sure you're not doing too much and um, the next thing I want to add is select this image click on adjustment layer here on saturation make sure you clip it to the image create clipping mask like this and um, I'm just going to tilt towards this part just a bit not too much increase the lightness so that you have a good contrast between the image and the background itself all right guys if you've enjoyed this video of how i created this flyer make sure to subscribe and please like this video it's very very important right and drop a comment if you have any questions i'll be sure to answer all of them